Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hello. So today, we're going to write sentences. Hmm. If you haven't watched the Jack Hartman video, Parts of a Sentence, please pause now and click on the link in the description. It'll take you there to watch Parts of a Sentence. Hi, welcome back from watching the video. We're going to review the parts of a sentence. Let's take a look at what this says here. Sentences start with a what? Hmm, I wonder if we can get some help. Hello? Ah, it's Jerry the Giraffe. Hi, boys and girls. What do you think a sentence starts with? What do you think? How about a capital letter? Yeah, I think that's right. Let's take a look here. I'm going to write it down, in fact. Sentences start with a capital letter. Now, what do we have next? Hmm, let's take a look. Sentences end with a... What do you think that sentences end with? Hmm. Remember from the video? I do, I do. Well, Jerry, what do you think? Sentences end with a period. Yes, a period. Let's write that down. They end with a period. What do they look like? What look like? A period. I need to put one up here. Let me do that. Put a little mark right here. Okay. Now, what's up next? Do you know how to space words apart? When you're writing, you use your spare hand and you have a finger out. So, I, finger space, see that? Like, finger space, see that? And then the, and we can have another finger space if we can fit a word here, or we go down to the next line. Next up, we're going to go over an activity sheet. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to go over this activity sheet. Wait a minute. What? That sheet looks different from everybody else's. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what? It's all blown up. It's a little bit bigger than yours. I did that so that I can show you on this video. Ooh! Thank Mr. Woods for making it so you can see the, the, the sheet better. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, are welcome. All right, pay attention, boys and girls. Okay. So we have here, do you know what kind of animal this is? It has fur has a long snout, and then look at that tongue. What do you think that is? And it lives in South America. Yes, it's an anteater. See, that's why it has that long tongue. Over here, can you read what it says? It says word bank. And we these are words that you can use to write a sentence. Down here, this is where you get to self-evaluate. You get to take a picture when you're done with your activity sheet and you can email it to me if you want or just show it to your parents or guardian so that they can determine whether you need some help or not. What it does, it says, oh no, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of like, I'm doing great. This is okay. I, I'm okay with it. And this is where I need help. So if you need help, take this to someone you trust and have them evaluate it and see where you're going, okay? All right, let's get working on this. So, what is the first thing we need to do? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, well, we know that it's an anteater, so we need to write a sentence about an anteater. Right! Thanks, Jerry. You're welcome. Okay, let's see here. 
we have up here, I like, I see, the, the, an anteater, an anteater. How do you think we should start this? We did I like with the, with the flamingo last time. How about we do I see? So we're, what size letter do you think we should start with? Yes, a capital letter. Let's take a look here. Let's start writing. So, I start out with a capital I, finger space, C, and it's a lowercase s, E, E. I see what? What's the next word? Hmm, our word bank, we have the and the. Do we have a, use the capital letter the or the small letter the? Right, the small letter what left. I see the finger space first. Finger space. Uh oh. Do we have enough room to write anteater down here? I don't think so. So we're going to go to the next line. And then anteater. Do we use the uppercase anteater or the lowercase anteater word? correct. It's not a proper name, so we just write it with a small or lowercase a. So again, we start out with anteater with an a. There we go. There we go. What do you think is next? Well, let me take a look. Thanks, Jerry. Take a look. What do you think he's missing? Hey, kids, what do you think Mr. Woods teaches is missing? I'm missing something. He's missing something. Oh, yeah. I'm missing something at the end. What am I missing? What do you think? It is a period. Oh, thanks, Jerry. You're welcome, Mr. Woods. Let's put that period on here. There we go. So now our sentence is complete. We start with an uppercase letter, we space the words appropriately, and then we end with a period. Now it's your turn to practice. Pull out your practice sheet, and it's, it'll probably have different animals on it than an anteater. Although, if you want to, you can go to the description of the video and click on the link to download the activity sheet. There are two activity sheets where you can find the one with the anteater on it. Do your best work, and if you're self-reporting and you want to get evaluated by me, please see my email address in the description and take a picture and then send it to me and I'll get back with you. Have a great day, and remember, if you want to be a, a person that writes, you have to be a person that does what? That writes. Have a great day. Bye.